guys, she was seven. I'm back and I have answers to your questions. Okay, y'all have been asking me questions on my video about ask me a question. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and answer about five or six of them if I can. Okay, so <sighs> the first question that I got, I'm not gonna uh, tell who's asked the question. Y'all can go look in the comments on that video. I'll link it below. Um, if you first question, if you could give one message or statement to men everywhere, what would it be? Um, if I could say anything or message men in general, I would say, um, thank you to all the men who understand their purpose on the planet. And thank you for being uh, men and, you know, providing and protecting for women. And I would say thank you so much for um, being the great men that you are, okay? But um, that doesn't go for all male. The, the, this is man. So there's a difference. Um, <laughs> So, this is in general kind of being facetious, but um, it does say men. It doesn't say male or boys or anything like that. So, to males in general, I really wouldn't say anything to a whole group of people in general. Um, but I would say to the real men out there, thank you. Okay. Um, number two question that I chose out of all of it how do you tell a man you are dating that you are not going to have sex outside the relationship without sounding like a tease okay so how do you tell a man you're not having sex unless you're in a committed relationship and still date and have a good time um well I did that with my husband so I could tell you from personal experience when I first started dating my husband I was young of course uh, but see I had an advantage so a lot of times women don't have the same advantage I was young I was single I didn't have any kids I didn't have any baggage I was free I was just whoo so I could tell someone that and be taken more seriously uh, plus you know I was hot I was hot okay uh, <laughs> so when I told my husband when I was dating I, said, I don't have sex outside relationships if you want to have sex with me we're going to need the title of couple, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, whatever. And then I went on to proceed to say, well, and, and if I date a man, he has to pay all my bills, especially if he's older than me. You know, I, I just went out. I just went for it all at one time. I'm just like, and what you going to do? You know, because at that point, I didn't have to date. I, I had, you know, I had money. I had a, a career. I didn't have to worry about money. But if I'm going to spend my precious time with a man, they're going to have to compensate. You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, put it all out on the table. You know, I have options, many. So it's kind of like playing cards and, and a gambling. You know, when you have a lot of money, you know, you're not afraid to lose. So it's not about money. Like when you have a lot of options, you're not afraid to lose. So I just put it all on the table. I'm like, look, I don't have sex outside relationships. If you're going to be my man, you need to pay all my bills, point blank. Okay. So that's what I did. I put everything out on the table and I said it with confidence. Like, you know, but, you know, I would say in this day and age, I would say, you know, at my current age, if I had to start over, I would say, well, I don't really, I don't have sex outside of committed relationships. I'm too old for that. Um, I'm at the point in my life where uh, I want a real man that knows the value of a woman. And, you know, that's just it. You know, I, I don't mind uh, if you want to go and have one night stands with other women while we date so you can get to know me because I am the prize and I really don't um, bend to sexual desire that much when I'm not committed in a relationship because the man really doesn't turn me on unless he commits. So the sex would be horrible for me anyway. 
I would say no man could like really arouse me unless I knew that he was there for me for the right reason. You know, they make dildos these days better than uh, any type of uh, man that's out there. Like, they have special tools that pleasure women 10 times better than any man could. So what I'm really looking for is a committed relationship and then the sex would be enjoyable to me. But other than that, I wouldn't really enjoy sex with you unless I'm committed to you because women's bodies are different and what turns them on and pleasures them. So, there you have it. That's what I would say, okay? Um, next question. How to not feel guilty about working? Oh, I'm sorry. I read it wrong. Okay, so I had two questions like this. And I don't know if they were for them from the same person. Okay, so this lady had a baby and she took off, you know, her maternity leave. And now she doesn't want to go back to work because she has a child and she doesn't want to put the child in daycare. She wants to stay home and raise her baby because the baby is still a newborn. It's still little. And like when you work, you know, your maternity leave isn't that long, like six weeks for some people. Um, and so she's, she's feeling guilty about not going back to work and letting her husband handle everything. You shouldn't feel guilty at all. You just brought life into the world. If you don't want to go back to work, don't go back to work. Okay? He's a man. He's supposed to provide and protect for his family. If you feel guilty about making him be a man, then maybe you should have not married him because that is what, you know, usually happens when men marry a woman, get her pregnant, and, you know, start a family. He's the head of the household. Let him be the breadwinner. Don't put your child in daycare and have to sit there at work worrying about, you know, your child getting taken care of, who you probably won't see, but maybe one or two hours a day, because when you get home from work, you got to clean, cook, if you if you do that, um, and then the baby's probably going to be asleep most of the time. Anyway, so what you need to do is figure out a way to either downsize some of your bills to, to ease his workload, give up something. Or you need to maybe find an online job at home if that's what you really want to do. Like if you really want to contribute, um, you need to find some kind of online job at home. Or, you know, you should, you know, like I said, downsize or sell something or, uh, you know, there's lots of jobs online for women um, that can work from home. If, if you don't want to do that. Um, and you just want to be the parent and the mother and the, and the housewife without feeling the guilt, then just don't feel it, you know? I mean, it's after a while you won't feel it anyway. So what's the difference? Um, if it were me and I felt guilt about it, I would, uh, you know, try to contribute in some way, you know, be it helping out you know, by downsizing something, giving up something, switching to a different, you know, phone company or cable, cutting off cable or just downsize something so that the load is not so easy. You're going to have to sacrifice if you feel guilt. Most women, they wouldn't feel really guilty about that because that's the man's job. Okay. Um, but like I said, just downsize. Okay. Most people live above their means and they don't need half the stuff they have. So move into a smaller place, cut the cable get a cheaper phone bill, get a Boost Mobile, I don't know, but that's what you're going to have to do because you feel guilty. Um, or you can encourage your man to get a better job, go back to school at night, or get a second job. Whichever one is going to work out the best for your family, that's what you need to go for, okay? Okay, so the next question is, is actually towards me. Like, what was my life like before I was married, like as a young woman? What was my life like? Um, like when I was still living at home or, you know, just getting out of my parents' house or, you know, when I was young and free and dating and stuff like that before I got married. <sighs> y'all, y'all don't want to hear this. Um, I'm going to do it real quick. I'm just going to do the real quick version. Um, my sister basically taught me the game. Okay, she's an older sister. She married, she dated athletes, married, married an athlete, you know, she was all about the money. Okay. So I kind of fall in her footsteps. I would, I would hang out with her. We would go out together 
um, always in the VIP section of the club. We always, you know, met celebrities, athletes, and stuff like that. Um, you know, always at the parties and stuff like that. We were like, you know, out there as far as uh, being the women that could walk past the long line in the club and get in free. We never bought drinks. We were just like the pretty women, you know, in, in the club that everybody wants to be seen with. I don't know. Um, <laughs> now, I was not a groupie, but she was. Okay, I'm not going to say I was a groupie because I wasn't. I was actually, I was too arrogant to be a groupie. Like, if that sounds crazy. I was too arrogant because, as y'all know, I can be a little arrogant. I was too arrogant to actually be a groupie. Um, but she wasn't. She loved the, the groupie life. Um, I was educated. I was like the educated snob. I'm like, uh -huh, uh -huh. you know, I was in uh, I was in school. I worked, um, you know. So I was like, you know, I'm, I'm too good for it to be groupie. But I'll hang out with you and you can buy me drinks. But you can go to her over there when you're ready to go home. Just buy me drinks while I'm here. I got to go to school in the morning. Okay? So that's what my life was like. I was an educated snob who hung out with groupies, basically. Um, which is which is a good position. Because they never see you go home with the guy. But the guy likes you. So there's always that guy that's watching. There's always that guy that's watching, right? And he never sees you leave with an athlete or a famous person, but he sees that you get their attention. So he sees your value. Um, so ladies, keep that in mind. Um, and then, you know, when I finished school, when I graduated or whatever, I was working in my field and that's when I met my husband. I was on my way to work and, uh, I stopped off because my friend worked at this restaurant bar she was the bartender I stopped off to you know talk to her and have a drink before I went to work because yes I had it like that I could drink before I went to work because I worked at night uh, sometimes and there was nobody there but me and one other person so it was cool you know um, and my husband approaches me he's like hey da 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 you know um, and I really wasn't impressed at first and you know I was like I was so rude to him you know, I was like, I didn't even like him at first. You know, I was just so rude. I was just like, <sighs> but he was practically begging for my attention. He bought me a drink. I was trying to get rid of him. I was like, I asked every question in the book to get rid of a man. You know, what kind of car do you drive? What do you do for a living? How much money do you make? I asked those three questions and he answered them all like, bam, bam, bam. Show me his car keys. I could see the car from outside the window and I was like, oh, okay. he's not getting the hint or a clue, but he got a nice car and he got money. So, hmm, <clears throat> maybe this is the one that's <laughs> the one I manifested. I don't know because I was like manifesting, oh, I need a rich man to take care of me for the rest of my life and I don't want to have to, you know, work. So all of a sudden I'm sitting here getting ready to go to work. And all of a sudden, this man comes and answers every rude question I ask, like, and what's what's next? Like, next challenge. That was no challenge, okay? So he had a nice car, a Mercedes convertible, owned his own company, you know, had money, just bam. You know, I'm like, okay, what's next? Uh, so he's like, well, when you want to go out with me, I'm like, mm, I don't really know you. Um, blah, blah, blah. He gave me, he gave me his cell phone he said here here's my phone go through it look through it call 911 if you think I'm going to be creepy or do something crazy to you okay I just want you to feel safe when a man gives you his phone and he, it, that's it it's over okay you know that he's he wants you forever so that was how I met my husband oh, yeah. okay. but um I did date like one athlete and I did go out with a few famous people uh, a few times but um, you know I was kind of in a semi relationship so it wasn't really like a groupy situation but uh, I didn't really value their lifestyle because I'm more traditional I, I would like the I like I wanted the home in the suburbs I wanted a man that came home every day f from work for dinner I wanted the kids the pool the dogs that's the kind of life I want I didn't want to be basketball wise I didn't want to be 
uh, love and hip hop. And this is what I want it to be, exactly what I am. Um, so that's what my life was like before I started, um, you know, being a wife. Okay. Um, I was a very smart, observant person who said what she wanted, knew what she wanted. That is the most important thing, to know what you want and not be afraid to ask for it and uh, manifest what you want in life. Most women are afraid to ask for what they want, which is why they end up with the lives they have. So that's just my advice. Okay. So last question I'm going to answer. Long distance relationships. Um, what do you think about long distance relationships and are there any apps to catch men cheating on their phone, like find a phone or whatever, whatever. Okay. I don't believe in long distance relationships. Because they Sorry, I was cut off. But like I said, I don't really like long distance relationships as far as um, like me having a feeling that they're going to work out. Um, because it's too complicated. There's too many obstacles in the way already. On top of obstacles that are going to be in the way in a, in a regular relationship. Um, and if you're already worrying about him cheating on you and you need apps on his phone to figure it out, then that's your red flag that long distance is not going to work for you okay um <clears throat> most guys that want a long distance relationship want to cheat that means they want a woman that lives so far away that they can pretty much not have to change their habits from being single into being in a relationship um so you know whenever they feel like they want that girlfriend or that woman to just you know feel like they have a companion They'll call the long distance girlfriend or have her come visit or go visit her, but they're not going to have a committed relationship in the same town that they're in because they don't want to commit fully. And they know if there's distance, there's wiggle room, there's freedom. Okay. So what I suggest, if you want to make it work, figure out a way to live in the same town and see if anything changes. If you suggest, Hey, I'm going to move there. See how he starts acting. Like, if he really wants you to move there. If he gets excited that you're going to move there. If he doesn't get excited, then you know that you're just that girl that he's using, um, to, you know, to have this relationship uh, feeling while he still plays on the side. If he doesn't get excited that you're going to move there, it doesn't even have to be true. Just lie to him and see what he says. Just be like, yo, I'm getting ready to move there. I've already made arrangements. It's a surprise, surprise. And if he acts crazy, like, oh my God, what? Why didn't you tell me? Da, da, da. If he gets more offended and upset than excited and like he's going to burst into tears of happiness, then you know who you are and that it's not going to work, okay? So, this is why I always tell people to call men's bluffs. Always call bluffs. I always, I always call bluffs. That way, like, it's mentalism. You got to play mental games with men because... They're too logical to understand a woman's complex game, okay? Um, they'll try, you know, they'll listen to, you know, people like me talk on videos. But I don't tell all the secrets, but, you know, they'll try. Uh, but you have to trick men, you have to lie to men, you have to call their bluff, you have to test them, okay? And this is what makes a man a man the test of a woman if he can pass your test you know to prove to you that he's a man then great if he doesn't seek to pass your test if he's not trying to please you in any way and he's not trying to get your love and affections and not trying to you know do all this this, this and that then he's not trying to prove himself as a man to you which means he doesn't want to be a man to you do you understand okay so, thank you guys so much for the questions. I guess I can answer one more question that I saw in the comments that was kind of like on the borderline. Um, someone asked me, how much does a man in America need to make to be deemed as financially stable and like good boyfriend or husband material? Well, that depends on your woman or the type of woman that you can get, okay? If you want a certain type of woman, you're going to have to make a certain amount of money. If you want a, a normal, regular woman, then you don't have to make as much money, okay? Now, the problem these days is 
normal regular women feel like that they are you know this great women woman that deserves the same thing as you know a supermodel <laughs> and I think I want up okay and that's why I got it because I know what I wanted I went for it and I wasn't afraid to ask for it somebody out there is gonna give it to you somebody out there gave it to me so that's all I'm saying I I know all the man will troll in the comments and say hey you don't look that good how could you find a man to take care of you it was easy okay I just asked for what I wanted and I received okay um <laughs> Some people get lucky, I guess. Some people just have that natural ability to track what they want to them. Who knows? Um, but the m amount of money that I would be comfortable with, like a, per a person on my level, with my thinking, a per the, the amount of money that I would be happy with would have to be six figures. I mean, it has to be six figures because I want the house in the suburbs. I want the car. I want kids. I want to go eat out. I want to go on vacation. So it has to be six figures. Okay. That's just the lifestyle that, you know, is provided when you make six figures. Um, and it can be a medium to, you know, it can even be a low six figures because, you know, you can move to a certain area that doesn't cost a lot to live. You move to the country. I don't know to the suburbs outside of the major city or rent is cheaper I don't know but it has to be in the six figures anything below six figures is to me honestly in a, in a grown man that is ready to marry and have kids it's going to be a struggle because of my standards and my taste okay and I might not be for all women some women might just want you to make 65k 65k is good for a lot of women but for me I know I need more I mean because I won't be happy and I'm just being honest. I would be like, I'm ready to upgrade. You need to make more money. Blah, 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 blah. I know myself. So I know what I want and what's going to work for me. I'm not ashamed and I'm not embarrassed to admit it. Okay. A lot of women walk around shame, embarrassed, and feel guilty about wanting what they want. And this is the problem. That's why they're upset and angry all the time in relationships. And when they get out of these relationships, they still hold on to that anger and that baggage and stuff like that say what you want and don't settle for less that is my advice men if you're trying to attain a woman who's a 10 and you don't make above six figures that's that's probably gonna be hard to do you know the type of women that you pass up to get to the woman that doesn't want you or because you don't make enough money are the ones you chase if you would stop passing the women up that actually want you, you might get somewhere, you know? And that's that's kind of my advice to some of these guys out here. Um, like, I don't hate guys. Uh, I know I make my little funny MGTOW videos, but that, I'm, that's just satire to me. That's like fun and games. You know, I, I, don't, I don't really feel like that about men. Like, my husband is a good guy. He provides and supports his family. That's what men are supposed to do, you know? And he loves it makes him proud to feel like he can actually uh, let his wife stay home and raise his kids instead of throwing them in the daycare for eight hours a day while his wife goes and works for another man. He feels proud that he can, you know, have a house built for his family that's huge and, you know, have a nice car for his wife and for his kids to travel in to and from school and you know run errands and stuff he feels good about that it makes him feel like a I man it makes him feel like he's accomplished okay and plus he has things to share you know holidays vacations someone to share it with you know what i mean um so it makes him feel proud okay um now he's not the type of man who's only thinking about getting sex because that's easy you know, once you get, once you have money, once you can have any woman you want, once you've had all that, it's not that flashy to you. It's not that, oh my God, sex, sex, sex. It's not like that. That's for men who barely get it. They're always excited about it because it's not very common for them. But when a man can get all that anyway, and he's like, okay, I'm ready to settle down and start my real life, then 
that's when they want to get married that's when they want to have children that's when they want to take care of a woman that's when they want to show the world you know look look what i can do look, i'm i'm a boss man i can buy my wife a car have her a house built send my kids to the nicest schools their college is paid for i don't have any debt there's a pool in my backyard and go you know, bam 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 that's 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 what a real man wants to aspire to okay they don't want to say oh i live alone in a, my condo i can buy whatever i want i can sleep with whoever i want because that's gonna get old after a while because you know most famous people can do that but they end up getting married anyway because it gets boring and dull after it becomes normal okay so if you're a guy that's like oh i don't want to get married because i can't do this and this and that you know that's because that's not normal to you and you can't get it on a regular basis so it's still a um, novelty to you but once that novelty wears off and you really want to get serious about you know a family and a life and you know leaving something to your legacy leaving something to your kids wealth um, passing on you know that DNA to the next generation and having your you know seed survive and live on to the new millennium I don't know then yeah you get serious all right most guys are always uh, inspired my family and a woman to do better all right so I'm gonna see y'all on my next video if y'all have any more questions I might do another question and answer video next month so watch out for that and I'll see y'all later bye